good morning. Good Friday, literally. Jeez, my dog. Better open the door, she'll probably start barking. I'm gonna go grab that fur. All right, good morning. How are we doing? Volume check for anyone who is on Insta or and or Facebook both. Thanks for the wave. Let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm not sure of that. Hello, hello. Anyone on Facebook land can hear me, let me know. It is 8.59, we'll get started with Active Spirit in about two minutes or so. Yes, hi John, good morning, thank you for that. Thank you for letting me know you could hear me. Meryl, thank you for checking in. Instagram. I've got some waves. All right, so um, we'll just go ahead and um, get started with the introductory. Um, this is Active Spirit. It's a 45 minute class, uh, low impact cardio and strength class. If you have some items at home, we'll use a dish towel. Hi, Melanie. Hi, Diane. Hi there. And um, soup cans, if you have them. And last week I had a watermelon, and uh, we actually ate the watermelon, so I don't have that watermelon this week. Um, again, okay, so active spirit, right? Low impact strength and cardio we're going to be doing today. If you have um, items that's great if not no worries you'll still be able to do everything without any props um, a wall will be nice we'll make you you know do a couple exercises on the wall I will give you options for those if if that's not if you're not in a place to to use the wall um, this will be recorded so you can go back to it we are going to be doing some different things than we did last week and also super excited that we now have um, a lot of these on our web page so if um, you're not don't have access to social media you can access these on the web page and that link went out yesterday if you didn't get that let us know hey good morning Kim Kara good morning thank you guys for joining me we're gonna be using a dish towel again and um, soup cans if you have them if not no worries right different exercises from last week um, we're still going to be doing some timed exercises. We're going to be doing a strength, a cardio, and a balance, and we'll be continuing with that. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. It's 9.01. We're going to start off with our warm-up. Hi, Darnella. Hi, 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 hi. Okay, so um, just... I have my shoes on today. I'm ready. Last week I didn't even have my shoes on, but I've got my shoes on today. I'm ready to go. We're going to start with a standing warm up. Um, give me one second. I have some tunes I'm going to play and then we'll get moving. Warm up, very, very similar, if not the same as last week. So we'll start off with a march in place. Left foot first, go. Left. This march can be bigger, faster. Decide, right? Go with your own body, your own self, what works for you. Toe 
toe taps here. Tap, 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 tap. If you like a little music, you can snap along. Point your toe though, so that's the, 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 the goal of what we're doing is trying to stretch the shin. So we wanna point the toe. We'll do the opposite and we'll do toes up, stretch the calf, and warming up the shin. Pulling the toes up, right? Use the shin muscles. Stay here, a couple more. Knees up, right? Pull it up. The arms can just nice and easy swing. We'll keep them below the shoulders for now. A few more. You can always go back to that march. That works better for you. Side to side, side to side. Here we'll start incorporating a little more arms out and in out and then you can go with your feet or that little bit slower tempo keep going here slowly bring in more heat and more heart change this to a hamstring curl we'll reach and pull with the arms you're pulling your heel back to the behind the same the opposite glute actually sorry and reach and pull with the arms. You'll see this again in our um, cardio section. We'll change this to an in-step touch. Now the arms are gonna reach high. Slowly bringing them up, bringing the heart rate up, and then in-step touch. So you're gonna cross the in-step across your body, open the hip up, getting some hip warm. Keep going, four more, four, three, two, and one, go back to that march here, march here. Five, six, some toe taps, point, point. Both arms reach up front, if that works for you. Again, we're just getting a little more, getting a little warm here, I'll take this off. Toes, we're still on the toes. Now the heels, heels, heels. We can change the arms to an upright row. Okay, where you're half time, or up, 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 up. Keep going, a few more, we're getting some shoulders here. Five, six, knees up. A little rotation this time, a little more rotation. You can even punch across the body. We're gonna do some punching kicks after we get warmed up. Punch, core, five, six, step touch here. So side to side to side. We can change these arms to across the front. Across the front. Reach and pull for the hand curls. Reach and pull. Squeeze the shoulders. Opening the chest. Five, six. In-step touches. Nice and tall reach. Arms are up. Option anytime to keep the arms down. Okay, that works out for you. We have a few more. Six, we'll hold right here and squats down and up, down and lift, down and press. Keep it going here, down and up. So we're sitting back into the heels, pressing up through the heels. Keep squatting. Everyone hear me okay? Just let me know if you can't hear me. I can um, 
change the music volume, but we're still squatting, right? Still squatting. Five, six, take your right leg and circle your hip. Circle around. One more time. Now circle the opposite direction. I'm going internal rotation right now, and now switch sides, other side. External rotation or internal, it doesn't matter. We're gonna switch, we're gonna do both. Other side, I mean other direction. Get a little balance here as well. Awesome, last time here. Bring your right knee up, grab a hold underneath. Circle around, imagine that your shin is stirring a big pot and then reverse the direction on that. Switching sides. Let your shin stir the big pot. Stir, stir, stir. Other direction, stir, stir, stir. Great, shoulder rolls. Roll them around and then take your wrists and circle them out a little bit as well. Circle, circle, circle. Play the piano, I call it, with the fingers. All right, grab your, your cans, your weights. Maybe you have some dumbbells at home. If not, we'll grab our soup cans and we will do a total body strength exercise to warm up just a little bit more. Let's start off with just the curl. So we're gonna start just the arms. We're gonna curl up, press overhead, down and uncurl. Let's do that, just the curl. Curl and press. Curl and press. Now, when our arms come down, right here and now, we add a little squat. Curl, press, and squat. Curl, press, and squat. Strength here. We're gonna add a little balance factor in after you do some more reps. Squeeze the biceps. Curl, press. Let's do a few more of these. We'll do three. Here's two. Last one. Slight change. Let's just squat. Squat and abduct on the side. Bring our hands to our side. Squat, abduct the other side. Squat, abduct. So right now, we're not really on the beat. Half timing. But we're gonna stop here and get on the beat. Here. Squat, abduct, squat, abduct. <sighs> I hear people up. Probably my son. Squat. Ah, uh, here he comes. Yikes! Curl and press. Squat. Curl. Actually, just the curl. My fault. Squat. Curl. Squat. Curl. Two more. What? Hold. Squat. Curl. Press. Down. Squat. Curl. Press. Down. Curl. Press. Last time. Just change it a little bit. All right. Hold here. Go ahead and put your hands down. And we're gonna move on. Oh, I found a screw on the floor. I think it's an eyeglass screw. Okay, so, should be feeling warmed up. Right, if there's anything that might be a problem area for you and you need to give it a little stretch, give it a little stretch. I'm gonna flip my notes here so I can get to our workout. Okay, so, as I mentioned, we're gonna be doing strength, cardio balance. Strength, cardio balance, right? Different exercises each time. One minute on the strength, 45 on the cardio, 30 on the balance, okay? All right, first off, wall squat. You wanna participate? No. No? All right, wall squat. So we're gonna put our backs up against the wall and slide yourself down, right? and hold here, so a wall squat. How far you go depends on you, okay? Pressing the backs into the wall just, just a little bit, not a lot. We're really trying to use these legs and quads to hold ourselves up. If you're not near a wall, huh? 
Can I take this? No, I'm using it. Come use it. Squat down. If you don't have that wall, we'll go down and up. Down and up. Down and up. Okay. All right. You know me. Are you live streaming on Facebook? Yes. So, I didn't set the timer, but that's okay. I'm going to get it. I got, you know, I've got all the tools. Just need to make sure I use them. It's probably been about a minute. So, come on off the wall, and we're going to go into our cardio portion, which is that kick and punch that I talked about. We did a knee and a rotate punch. We're going to change it to a kick out front. Rotate punch. Here we go. 45 punch. Cross over the body a little bit. Imagine that you're coming to the opposite shoulder of someone in front of you. And we can pick the piece up. Make sure that we continue to breathe. I did start the timer this time, and we're halfway. Kick, 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 kick. Rotate over top of the front extended leg. Kick's not right for you, then knees. Being careful not to hyperextend the knee when we pick out. We have five seconds. Okay. Let's switch to the front leg raise. I'm just going to turn to the side so you can see. Flex your foot, bring one leg up and down. Up and down. Option to tap that heel on the ground. Right? Or extra challenge where you keep it off from touching. Okay, let's switch sides, switch legs. So flex the foot, bring the heel out to the front, toe up, and stay nice and tall in the upper body. We wanna make sure we're not meeting it down and rounding out, stay nice and tall. So that might mean you shorten your range of motion, and that's fine. Shorten the range of motion if you need to stay up tall. You're almost there. You got a couple more seconds. Six. Seven, K, rest. All right, grab that dish towel. No worries if you don't have one, okay? We're still gonna be able to do the same exercise, right? Take your towel, grab it in your fists. I call this the, um, the horse hold when we're in Pilates. We, hand, overhand is the horse hold. Underhand is the microphone hold, okay? So we're gonna lean forward just a tad, brace the core in the middle, belly buttons in, and pull, squeeze the shoulder blades back, and release, squeeze, and release, squeeze. At the same time, you wanna pull, if you have this towel, at the same time, you're gonna be trying to pull it apart and back. The elbows need to stay in really close to the waist for this, I'm bringing it towards my belly button, and extend, okay. Start on minute. That was a practice. Pull back and release. Pull back. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Hey, Laura. Laura. Sorry about that. I know it's not Laura. Laura. Squeeze. Pull apart at the same time. And back. Right. Imagine that someone just put a piece of ice right down the center of your back. Right. And you squeeze the shoulder blades together because it's cold. Continue, keep going, keep that pull. I have a fan here. I'm gonna get it on. What? Turn on fan. Oh my. Keep pulling, keep pulling. I could just open the door because the wind is crazy. I was trying to find where the wind is gonna stop, so if anyone knows that, you can let me know. Almost there. All right, towels are down. Back to that hands reach and pull that we did in the warm up, right? So we're slowly reaching and squeezing through the back and the hands heels up to the behinds. Here we go. Pull, pull. This is our 45 second cardio. Pull, pull. Right? Take your time. Bring it down. If that's what's right for you. But you always have the option to pick it up. Right? So that's the beauty of a high-low type of class, that you can mix it up to make it right for all different places to meet you where your body is. Keep going, a couple more seconds. 
All right, hold there. Now, I want you to shift your weight over to your right foot and put your toe down on your left foot. Arms can be out because this is our balance, so we do want to help with balance, or they can be in. See? You're going to pull your heel back, heel back and down. Option to tap the floor, squeeze, or you can keep it off the floor, no touch, back and in. Flex this foot here, right, because that's just going to contract the, the hamstrings and the glutes. So we'll flex, kicking your same rear end, right, but we got the leg out to the side, so it's still on a slight angle. Now shift your weight to the other side and the same thing, pull, pull. We want to be soft on the leg that we're standing on, so that knee's got a slight bend. Pull back, pull back, keep going. This is our round two. We just did the back. We did the rows and the hamstrings. There's connections for all of these. Two more. And rest. Okay, march that out. So incorporating balance with some strength there. We're going to continue to do that. That'll be the pattern. For the chest, I want you to stand one foot in front of the other. Okay, staggered stance. And we'll cross the arms in the front. Open and close. Cross one over top of the other, and then when you come in, cross the other one over top of the other. All right, here's our minute, but again, cross and over, cross and open, cross and open. When you're doing this cross, think about squeezing through the chest. So we're not just kind of willy-nilly bringing the arms up. Squeeze into the chest, right? Squeezing the chest together. On your open, you're gonna squeeze the back. So that lengthens the chest, lengthen the chest, contract the chest. Squeeze the back, squeeze the chest. What's our time? You've got about 20 seconds left. Let's change this a little bit. So instead of the singles, we'll do three pulses. Three, two, one, and open. So it's one on top, you alternate which one goes on top and open. Three, two, one, and open. Three, two, one, and open. Three, two, okay. Last one. Hold here. All right, cardio part, our 45 seconds, is a step, tap, step, tap, step, tap, and a cross, cross. One arm, bring it across. Cross, 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 cross. You can add a little down and up to make it bigger or a little down and up. Okay, so ways to make this different level, different challenge. We can do both arms. We can alternate across just like we started. Keep going. I'm trying to really be Mindful of my time this week. Five seconds to go on that cardio. And rest. All right. We have our balance. Shift the weight to your right leg. Again, arms can be out, in. We're gonna flex this foot, three, and lift just the side, up and down. Toes come to the front. So we don't want to turn it so our toes are heading up. We already did that. We did the front leg raises. This is a side leg raise for the side of the body. Group, three. Option again to do that touch or to keep it going without the touch. Five, six, shift your weight to the other side. Flex your foot, toe to the front. It's nice too if you're nearby a wall. You do want to lean over just a little bit so you're getting a long line here. Instead of being straight up trying to lift this, that puts a little more strain on the back. Flex the foot and out and in. Out and in. Almost there. And rest. All right, we're gonna take a quick drink break. Just real quick, get a sip. 
and grab those soup cans back. Remember, okay, if you don't have cans, same thing. Okay, this time stacker stance. If you remembered, hey Laura, hey Mallory, if you remembered which leg was in front, then switch legs. If you didn't remember, it's no big deal. Right, this is stagger stance, a little more balanced challenge. Stagger stance is not working for you. Bring your feet side by side, up, down, squeeze, down. Start making a little connection to this bicep and squeeze it at the top. Squeeze, focus it on that area that we want to contract. Squeeze, ay ay. I'm good, I got it. Squeeze, squeeze. If you want to add a balance to this bicep curl, then you'll bring it to a toe tap. Wings on one leg, toe tap the other. Maybe you're like, I got that. Give me a little something more. You'll pick it up. Squeeze and down. Again, still focus on the squeeze. So we're actively contracting, not just relying on the heaviness of the cans. If you have one leg up, let's switch to the other side. Remember the option to toe tap. That gives you a little kickstand, I call it. Your kickstand. Squeeze up, squeeze up. I'm checking my time. Almost there. Awesome. Rest. Hold these cans halfway at 90 degrees. Right? We're going to move these just a little bit, a little inch and up. Then we'll also go up and down. Ready? A little inch. Inch, 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 inch. Knee, 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 knee. This is our cardio. So we want to get some more muscles involved here. Inch, inch, inch. Now let's do that halfway, all the way up, halfway down. All the way up, halfway down. All the way up, and quicker, make it quicker. Stay with the inch, or you can go this half range. Keep going. Maybe you don't wanna use these at all, biceps. If you had enough, you can just do some ease up. A couple more seconds, and hold there. All right, waist and hands. We're just gonna do a static one leg balance. So it doesn't matter which leg, just pick one and hold. Still have that kickstand option. So it's the same thing we're doing with the curls, just no curls right now. More of a balance only focus. Toe tap, knee can be up. Lots of different options. Foot can be out front or flexed. And extra challenge, outside and hold. Keep there. Just stay with the one that's most challenging for you now, right? Not progressing to the next one until you have the first one down. All right, that foot is down, switch sides. Toe tap. Soften the knee that we're standing on. Option. Knee up was the next option, sorry. Knee up. Front. Don't look at me. Get to look at something that's not moving. And then out to the side. Engage the core here. Where are we? All right, and down. We'll put these weights up for now. And get to a wall. We're gonna make a diamond with your fingers. Three. A diamond with the pointies and the thumbs. These hands are gonna go on the wall, or a chair, or a countertop, anything, right? Anything that you can push them on. Make that diamond, step our feet back so we're in a nice line from head to heel, and then push away the wall. The elbows are gonna come out to the sides, push away from the wall. This is a perfect angle. I can see my watch perfectly. <laughs> we want the hands at chest level, right? So we don't want them up here by our head or our face, chest level, right at our heart center, and put it on that wall. How are we doing? 
Hey, thanks, Laura. <laughs> Wait, how are we doing? We have another 25 seconds or so working the triceps. Wide, out and in. Think heart center and press. Heart center and press. Okay, another 10 seconds or so. Keep pressing, engage through the core. Right, so you're keeping that nice and straight spine. Right? Any, any pain in the back, most likely you might be arching and your, your pelvis might be heading towards the wall before your, your chest, so you might be here. We want to make sure that's not the case. Draw the bellies in and push out. And All right, rest from that. No weight. We're going to start first, but I don't want you to bring your elbows back behind you like a chicken, like you're going to do like the chicken thing, right? Elbows are back behind you. Tap back behind you. This is our cardio. Cardio here. Tap, 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 tap. Press, 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 press. Same thing with the biceps. We want to think about controlling the movement. We don't have weight. But we still can squeeze the back of the arm, control it, resist in and out both. Tap, tap. We want to get a little bit of a lean forward again. So we're arch, arching our back, but a little bit of a lean forward. Squeeze the glute as well when we tap, tap, squeeze, tap, squeeze. What's our overall time looking like? All right. Looking good. 9.30. Keep going. Keep that press back. And rest from that. All right, I'm gonna reset. Balance here, calf raises. We might need a hand on the wall, hand on a chair or a counter. Both heels lifting up and down, up and down. If you can, take your arms out to the sides. You might as well add a little more here. Again, options. That's not working for you. Bring them down. Keep going here. Lift, lower, lift, lower. I didn't think half raises would be a balance exercise. Um, sometimes, right? Oh, yikes. Five, six, seven, one more, and eight. She got out, right? Circle the foot a little bit around each side. Back to our strength. Now moving into the shoulders. Our hands are going to be reaching right out front like Frankenstein. The like little Frankenstein walks forward out. We're going to do the legs. We're just going to do the arms. Reaching straight out front. Wrist in line with the shoulder. Pull those back. Squeeze. Stopping elbows and shoulder. Rotate that up. Our nice goal post. I always say, Pretend like we don't have Justin Tucker. We need these goal posts straight up and down so that the kicker has a better chance. If they're in here like this, it's such a smaller area to get that football through. Okay? So reach out, pull back, and rotate. And forward. Pull back and rotate. And forward. Pull back. We're stopping right around the bicep. I mean, um, the ears, maybe a little in front of the ears. So here, let's just hold here actually. Hold here, let's practice a couple of these. Up and down, up and down. And again, you can be in this split stance if you want to add a more, little more balance challenge. Great, so we've got that rotation. Now we'll start out front. Pull, rotate, down and reach. Squeeze, rotate and reach. These do not get much credit, right? Much harder than it looks. Pull back, rotate. Best things for the backs of the shoulders right here. You'll also be feeling it in the tops of the shoulders. Squeeze. One more. Rest. All right, shake those out. We have still our cardio that involves the shoulders. Right, I'm getting a little slower transitioning here because my arms are tired too. Toe points out front, just like we did in the warm-up and overhead press. 
press and down, press and down, press. We get a little bit of the front of the shoulder when we do the, you do the chest crosses. You can change up, up, up. This is our cardio portion, so we make sure we get the cardio. Push, push. Point the toe. Ah. Keep going. Overhead. Shoulders are getting tired. I know. Try to stay with it. Keep going. You're almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Shake them out. Oh my gosh, right on music. Calling three, two, I one. Do. Calling three, two, one. Don't call three, two, one. I don't know who three, two, one is. Okay. Take your right foot and put your heel, probably say like, not that I know what DUI stops are like, I don't, truly, really. But I always say, you know, like you see in the movies, put your heel right in front of your toe, okay? Put your right foot right in front of your left. Now you might need to grab a wall or the chair. We're gonna flex the right foot and we're gonna cross it over the body, okay? Biggest thing I normally see here is this big swing out to the side. We're not doing that big swing out to the side. We're starting and stopping right in front of the toe. Keeping your hips straight. This works the inner thigh. So you're squeezing, right? Most of you have had you know, kids, you know exactly what I mean. You're gonna be like squeezing when you sneeze. Cross. Sorry guys if you're watching. Okay. Shake that out a little bit. Let's switch sides. Left in front of the right, heel in front of the toe. Cross and back. It's a small move. It's not a very really big range of motion. If you try to get too big, then you start turning through the center, and that's not really gonna get the inner thigh that we're looking for. So cross and stop right back in front of that heel. This is our balance. Cross. Hold and down. Shake that out, march a little bit. A little fake walk where you stand and then you bring your heels up and down. <laughs> All right, so come back to your wall. We're gonna start working on core. We're gonna do some spinal work on the wall. This can be done without a wall. It can be done on the counter. That's fine too if you have a counter. Right? You're going to take, let's do this together. Okay, so I'm gonna take my right foot back with a toe tap. We'll start just with the leg. Flex that foot and lift that leg up and down, up and down. You wanna make sure you definitely pull the core and belly button in here, because if not, then I'm gonna start getting this arch through my back. You're gonna take the opposite hand higher up and open, lift the hand up and down. So the opposite arm and opposite leg. Right now I have my right leg and my left hand and I'm not moving my core at all. Right? It's stationary. It's like the Pilates we talked about. We're focusing on keeping stationary the part that's not moving. So let's go ahead and switch to the other side. Left foot out, flex that foot. If you wanna just do a couple, a couple leg lifts and then add that arm in. Just making sure you're keeping this in a safe range of motion. Right? If I really want to, if I'm trying to get this leg up way higher than it will go, then that's when I start creating the sway. So draw in and just control, nice and controlled. Belly button's back. One more. All right, come off there. Open and close here. So we'll bring this in. Around, you will round up and open. Around, make a turtle on a dome. Two, one more time. So we'll shake side to side, just get those hips. That low back to release. Grab your suit can. One, we only need one. No, you know what, we can also use the towel. I'm gonna grab the towel, so let's do that. If you got one or the other, either one will do. I'm gonna do my horse hold, because I'm gonna, like I'm holding the horse reins. I don't ride horses, but I just know that. Okay, so 
take your towel and bring it over top of your right shoulder. Naturally, most of the time, that left foot, the heel will lift. So lift with the heel. It's like a like you're um, golfing. I don't know if you are, but supposedly, right? Lift and then a little bit of a dip. Lift, dip. Lift the heel and then a squat. So let's let's practice the bottom part first. A second. We already practiced the lift here. So squat with a rotation over. Squat with a rotation over. Very small legs. We were working more on the core. So we're gonna reach up and slide across. Reach up and down. Reach and down. Reach. Pick up your heel on this reach and then squat. On your squat, make sure that you're coming and you're getting the rotation from the core. It's not here. We're doing that already. Up here and then squat. Rotate and squat, right? We're picking up this heel to allow for that knee to rotate. Other side, right? Reach. Let's just do the reach on this side. Reach, down the hip. Reach, down the hip. Pick up your right foot. Squat, just squat, squat. Doesn't even have to be a big squat. We're more focused again on the core, the rotation, right? Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. Pick up your right heel as you lift over the shoulder and squat as you go over the right. Keep going, a few more. How are you doing? We're almost there, right? We have one more balance. A repeater knee twist for any of the steppers out there, the nose repeaters. Hey, hi Instagram, thanks for the waves. Okay, break there. Let's put this towel down or, or your can, whichever. We're gonna do one leg only. So I want you to shift. So we're going that way. So I want you to shift your left, your left, your weight to your left foot. Right, just this knee. Up, down, right leg, in and out. This is our balance. We're gonna add over and center. Over and center. Over and center. If you have weights at home, you could be using them. Okay. You can use your soup hands, you can use your towel. Rotate. Switch sides. Up and down. <laughs> balance here. This is our balance. How are we doing? 40, 940. We have just five minutes. We'll be using that for our cool down. Keep rotating. Rotate. Balance and breathe. Exhale. Two more. One more. All right. Awesome job. Stay here and a little walk side to side. Side taps. Go back to those toe taps out front. We're going to slow it down. Half time. Point, point. Point as hard as you can so you can get the front stretch of the shin. Point, point. Change it to the heels. Bring it, take your time. Hold it for a sec and switch. Hold it, heel digs. Heel, dig. Down and in. Two more. Two. And one. This time heels come back. Pull it, pull it. Slow enough so that you can contract the hams. Right? Squeeze up, contract the hams. That will allow the quads to stretch. I always talk about it, reciprocal inhibition. So if you're squeezing one muscle, the opposing muscle has to lengthen and stretch. Bring this to the front, flex your foot. Now we'll work on stretching through the hands. So we're gonna contract the quad, bring the leg up front. Contract the quad, stretch the ham. Two more. Awesome. 
circle. So we can keep the toe down, circle the hip. You can bring it up and down just like the beginning. One more. Direction switch. One more. Switch sides. Hip circle. Let me know if you have any questions, right? You can write them in the comments. You can contact me through uh, Facebook and Instagram as well. Okay, circle the foot. So I want you to point the toe and then circle. One direction. You know, balance here as well. And the other direction. Switch sides. Point the toe, circle it. I'm drinking enough. I don't know about you, but I'm not getting enough drinks. I'm so out of routine. Great. Feet side by side, a nice strong balance, a strong stance, and take your wrists, circle them. Other direction. Piano, play, 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 play. And then the shoulders. I should have done those first, but you know, it's okay. And these arms open, close, open, close. Same thing, squeeze the back, squeeze the chest, squeeze the back, squeeze the chest. Inhale as you reach the hands up, clasp your fingers together, and turn the palms up to the ceiling. Take a little side dip here, real small, it doesn't have to be big. If you can, if you'd like, you can drop that one side arm down, and then come up, and to the other side, reach for our core here. Inhale. Arms are going to stay out to the side, bring your palms up to the ceiling. Do the best that you can to keep your hips towards the front and rotate and look over your shoulder. Keep the hips to the front. Inhale and switch. Inhale center, big reach up. And exhale down. Turn your palms so they face the front. Right, bring your shoulder blades together in the back. Palms are facing the front. Strong on the feet. And drop your ear over to one side. Do this opposite hand from the ear and see if you can reach it further down towards the floor. And bring it up and go to the other side. And then reach that arm further down to the floor. Back up to the center. One last big breath. Inhale, reach. Hold your hands here and curl this around. Cave it like you're giving a hug. Big bear, big bear hug. Inhale, reach, and exhale down. All right, I want you guys to give yourselves a hand. Ray, doing an awesome job. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, if you have, again, if you have any questions, please feel free to make a comment and I will respond. Um, if you missed part of it, you can access it on Facebook. And we are also slowly, we're getting all the videos uploaded to our webpage and that link went out yesterday. If you missed that, let me know as well. Right, I hope you guys have a great day and a nice weekend. And if you celebrate Easter, happy Easter. Bye guys, I finally like, feel like I'm getting the hang of this. Thank you, Diane. I'm glad you were able to make it. Miss everyone, definitely missing everyone at the club. Bye-bye. <sighs> huh? By Facebook, have a great rest of the day. Where is the end of Facebook? Here it is.